next question says, Assalamu alaikum. I know that we go through periods of low Iman and spiritual lows. However, over the past two, two years, I feel that I have remained in the lows and can't get back up to where I was. I feel myself unmotivated and I'm not as, passionable, as passionate as I once was, although I have the strong desire to get close to Allah. I fear for myself and dying in, the sta in this state of low Iman. Can you please give me a prescription slash strategy that can help me get back to the closeness I once had? Okay, so that's the one billion dollar question. Uh, you know, the shaitan said, so the in Surah Al-Araf, the shaitan said, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you know, Allah commanded him to prostrate before Adam, he refused to prostrate, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursed him because of his disobedience uh, uh, and his rebellion. Then the shaitan uh, promised that he will sit by the straight path, ambush the, the children of Adam by sitting by the straight path, then I'll come to them from before, from in front of them, and from their back, and from their right side, and from their left side. And Ibn Abbas and other scholars talked to us about, you know, the front and the back, and the left side, and the right side, and they said, from the front, meaning that I will uh, adorn, the, 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 uh, the, that I will uh, create doubts, in their hearts concerning the hereafter and from their back, meaning that I will adorn the dunya for them, I'll beautify the dunya for them, I'll make the dunya very tempting for them, and I will create doubts about the hereafter for them, and then from the right side, I will make the hasanat uh, very burdensome for them, distasteful to them, and from the left side, I'll make the sayat very uh, tempting and um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll beautify the sayat for them uh, and facilitate and make easy the say, sayat for them. So if you know this plan, if you know his plan, this, the, his plan is basically to uh, take away from you your faith, your iman, and your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That to counter this plan, how do you counter this plan? You counter this plan by making more hasanat, and there, the, certainly there are uh, you know, it, it may, will be a long discussion, but uh, the, the Prophet Sallallahu told us uh, how to counter the plan of the shaitan. When it comes to the hereafter, that he will raise doubts in our hearts concerning the hereafter, it requires rem reminders. It requires for us to be reminded and to remind ourselves of the hereafter. That is why uh, basically the first station of the hereafter, which is death, is the most tangible for us, right? That's why Uthman used to be like uh, uh, touched by, you know, death and news of death even more than uh, the news of the, the rest of the stations because it is the most tangible station and it's the first station of the hereafter. If you need to, to basically remind yourself uh, tangibly of the hereafter, visit the graves, wash the dead, attend the janazat, uh, and we have plenty of them every year, in your, every day, or every few days in your community, you will hear of some janazah. Go attend them. Uh, go see, the, see the, the burial itself. Uh, get down in the grave, if that is what it may take you, get down in the grave. Uh, to, uh, if, you, if, if, if you're a sister, you could do some of this work. Like, what, we need uh, people to wash uh, the mouth, the to wash the dead, and, and, and so on. Get a little bit closer to death so that it is not, uh, it is not uh, too remote in your perception. Because if it is too remote in your perception, it will, will not have the proper effect get a little bit closer to death and dying uh, people. Uh, don't, you don't necessarily have to be, need to be morbid. We're not talking about being morbid. We're, we're talking about being awake, 
awake to the reality of this life, to the transience of this life. We're talking about being alert, about you know being alert, alert to the phases that you will go through and the stations that you will go through until you meet uh, your Lord. So that's one thing you, you, you could do. The, um, when it comes to the dunya, I'll be beautifying the dunya for them, just reflect on the transience of this dunya. Reflect on the unpredictability of this dunya. Visit sick people. That will remind you of the unpredictability of this dunya. You go to any hospital. See how like perfectly healthy people, perfectly healthy people, overnight, they, they just became bedridden. You know, perfectly healthy people. You go to your doctor for a checkup, he runs a few tests, and then you, you hear the news. You know, you have this or that. That's the unpredictability of this dunya. Reflect on the unpredictability, but get closer to this by, you know, like visiting uh, sick people. That is why, you know, visiting the sick and following the janazah and all of these things have been prescribed for us because the Prophet ﷺ came with, with a counter plan for this, you know, satanic plan, you know, the, the counter plan that will uh, basically uh, help us overcome his makr and his, his conspiracy has been all uh, spelled out for us by the Prophet The hasanat and the sayyat and how do you handle this? I, I think if there are so many tips, time is running out, but environment is, complete, is extremely important. Get yourself in an environment of righteousness an environment that basically promotes the hasanat, that values righteousness. Uh, keep yourself attached to the community uh, the, of believers. Go to the masjid. When you go to the masjid, you will find people who value the hasanat, who honor the hasanat, uh, uh, even subconsciously. This will, will affect you, will affect you people who despise the sayyat, people who despise wrongdoing, stay in the proper environment. This, the seeds that are sown in the wrong soil will never grow and will, ne will never come to fruition. So the environment is, is extremely important if, if you want uh, to get back that uh, closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.